everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Crafting with V and if you are new here, welcome. Hope you stick around. Be sure to hit that bell, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. And we are going to go ahead and get started. Anyway, today I have a Hobby Lobby haul. I haven't actually opened this, but I have taken all the tape off of it. It had a lot of tape on the top of it. Kind of like the bottom down here. But anyway, I went to Hobby Lobby today and they had a lot of new paintings that I have not seen there before. So I decided to get this cute little kitty cat painting and they were they were running their special so that they were 40% off. This one, does it tell me how big it is? It is a 25 centimeter by 35 centimeter or 9.8 inches by 13.8 inches for the canvas. Anyway, I went ahead and took everything out of the bag. And and um, we will get to these and I will show you the little toolkit that comes with it here in just a second. But let's go ahead and look at this canvas. If I can get, get it open. And this was called a Simply Dots. If anybody can tell me what the difference is between a Simply Dots and a regular Diamond Dots, please do so. I would really like to know. Um, anyway, I thought that this was a very cute little painting, and they did have some adorable paintings there. There was some, there was one, I believe, of some raccoons that I wanted to get. There was just, and there was a few dogs, a lot of them that I really wanted to buy. But I could only get a few things, so I decided on this one. Okay, so let's go ahead. This is a round. They did have quite a few square diamond dots. I was surprised. Oh, I actually thought, let me try to straighten that up a little bit. I actually thought that this was a partial. Um, but it's not. It is a full drill. Very sticky. It has 30 colors in this painting. Look at all those pretty colors. And um, the one thing that I do like about Diamond Dots is you'll notice this little, this little border around your painting. I absolutely love that little border that they put on here. And this is going to turn out really really pretty especially with all the colors in it i love animals especially cats this is just the opposite of my cat my cat is a solid black cat and this one's a white cat other than all the paint splotches it looks like it's got on it anyway it has symbols and a few letters and numbers um very sticky if you can if the camera will focus that drill field is very very clear i don't know if you can see how clear it is in the camera but it's got a very very clear drill field let's try it does have a thick cover on it and normally with diamond dots, it seems like it has a thicker or a stiffer canvas, but this canvas isn't all that stiff. It is taking a few minutes for it to lay flat, but other than that, it is okay. Okay, so it does have the scalloped edges on it, but... Isn't that just adorable? I can't believe it's a full drill. I actually thought that this was a partial. Anyway, I, this is going to be so cute. Can't wait to do it. Um, let's go ahead and look at the drills and the toolkit. Okay. 
let me flip that over so we can see the all of this a little bit better. Is this the only difference in regular diamond dots and the simply dots? I do not know. It's got a squishy. It's got a purple pen. One plate of heart-shaped purple wax. And it has some baggies, which I'm going to keep them in this bag. And then it's got a little purple tray. Just basically a normal, typical toolkit. It's got a different shape and color of wax, but other than that, pretty typical. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at these colors. And um, it does have, if you look on the bag, it has Kitty Dots, which is the name of the painting. So if you separate these, if you put these separately from your, your canvas, separate from your drills, you will be able to tell what these go to because it is labeled. And I guess that this is... This one is specific to Hobby Lobby because it actually has Hobby Lobby on it. So, anyway, let's go ahead and look at these colors real quick. Okay, it looks like these are all going to be very bright colors. I'm going to absolutely love that. Okay. So, look at those colors. Green. Those are going to be so pretty. This is going to be my favorite strand. I bet you can't guess why. It's got the pink. Love the color pink. Look at all those. I love the bright colors in this. This can be so pretty. And last strand. Of course, you got a lot of white. Look at all this. And I don't think there's any ABs in this, but the drills look like they are very nice drills. I've never really had any problems with diamond shots drills before. And this is made by Diamond Dots. So, let's go ahead and put these to the side. And I will put them up in just a little bit. And I want to show you what else I got at Hobby Lobby today. This was... Where did my leafy go? Okay, that painting, I ended up paying $8.99 for it. It was 40% off, so very good price on that, at least I think so. Okay, and then these are some little diamond wax pencils. I do have my pencil sharpener here. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take one of these out because I use these quite often. Just don't leave them in a hot car or all you'll have is the shell of them. Believe me, I found that out the hard way. But you just sharpen these just in a regular little hand pencil sharpener. And just like that. And... Go ahead and get it a little bit more. Anyway, you can use, this is all wax. You can use it to pick up your diamonds. Uh, I use these a lot on my AB diamonds because I have a love-hate relationship with them. With the regular pins, they pull your wax out of the pins, but you can use these very easily, and it makes a really makes it really easy to do your AB diamonds. Anyway, so I got two of these pencils and they were 
$2.79. I believe you can get pencils like this on Amazon and get a few more in the pack and they're a little bit cheaper than this but if you wanted them right right away then it's not a bad price on them okay and then i got these little diamond painting jars we've all seen these they're just the regular little jars and i'm hoping to be able Actually, these look a little bit bigger than the ones that go in my... I was hoping to get them to replace some of the ones in my little cases. But these look to be a little bit bigger. That's okay if you have like a small diamond painting with special shapes. Maybe these would work and you can get a couple of these. But they're very nice quality jars. So they will work very well. And this package has eight of them. We've got four. Can get them out. Okay, it comes with two different sizes of them. But these are bigger than the normal jars. And then these are smaller than the normal jars but they it looks like they would hold about the same because they're bigger around but anyway you get four of the smaller ones and then four of the bigger ones so these I think will work out for some smaller paintings and you can if you need only needed 16 colors you could buy two packs of these for four dollars not a bad deal at all okay and then the last thing that i got and i know a lot of y'all probably don't use the baggies to kit up your kits but i got these these are three inch by four inch baggies and these are not the ones with where you can write on them let me see. I got these ones off of Amazon. These right here I've had for a while. If I can find the link, I'll link these that I got from Amazon. But they they are the same size as these three by four inch with the where you can write on them. I use these all the time. These types of bags all the time now to get up. And even though I've got plenty of cases to kit up, I love using these because I can fit them in one of these little Dollar Tree baskets. You get three of these for $1.25 and I lay them sideways. And then I can just flip through them to find the color that I need. And it works out really well. And they're bigger, so if you've got two or three bags, you can put them all put all of those little bags in one and then I just take these and put them with my extra storage if I have some of the same color I will combine them but they're already ready to go in my extra storage of bags but anyway these are just the regular plain ones I do buy, if I don't buy them from Amazon, I do buy them from Hobby Lobby because they seem to be better made bags than you can get at Walmart. But anyway, this was $3.99 for 150 bags. Not too bad, and I use these all the time. So those will not go to waste. I will use all those. And that pretty much completes my Hobby Lobby haul. My two favorite things out of this is my diamond painting, my diamond painting pencil, wax pencil, and then I do like these jars. They're nice size jars and you get eight of them for $1.99. So anyway, if you like this video, let me know. Um, if you would like to see more unboxings, go ahead and tell me what type of paintings you like, what you're working on. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you next time. Bye.